Hello and thanks for watching. This video for QuickBooks 2015 focuses on the improvements and enhancements that have been made to enterprise solutions. Now first off I'd like to kind of talk about some disallowing features that prevent users uh, from making mistakes. One is selling negative inventory because that can definitely make a mess of your valuation reports. So it's the ability just to set a preference to prevent someone from selling, say, this irrigation hose that has a quantity on hand of negative five. Right? Now, right now, I could go just create an invoice for it and put it in, and all I get is that current availability pop-up, right? But I could still sell it. Now, if I go to Edit and then Preferences and Items and Inventory, Company Preferences, there's an option, Don't Allow Negative Quantities. Now, this has nothing to do with sales orders. You still be able to create a sales order, but when I do bullet point this option, I won't be able to put that irrigation hose on either a sales receipt or an invoice. Okay, and it doesn't do anything for negative items that aren't historical transactions. It would just be for kind of going forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. It's gonna have me open, uh, close all open windows. And let's go back to that scenario. Uh, where I'm going to create an invoice or a sales receipt for that particular item, irrigation hose. And you'll see in red, the transaction, the quantity on hand after is negative, so it's not even going to let me add this irrigation hose item to uh, a posting sales document in QuickBooks. Transaction cannot be saved because the quantity on hand of one or more items would go negative. The other kind of disallowing feature, very much of a benefit, is whenever you create new customers and invoices, you know how if you go to the customer center, make that as an example. And I'll just do a new customer. Notice there is no open balance field. Now, how did I get that? Because that, if I put in an open balance, you know, as an accountant or a consultant, it's going to create this amount in uncategorized income and it's going to drive you insane, right? So how do we get that? Well, it's a preference. So if we go back to edit preferences and I go to an accounting preference, company preferences, you'll have hide opening balance fields in names and items. So definitely check that. Because if you don't, you know, let's add that new customer. There's my open balance as of, okay? And the same when, when I'm creating a new item. So that would be the ability to check off a box to hide this particular opening balance field on names and items. And that's also in any SKU of QuickBooks Enterprise for 15. How about disallowing uh, users from creating invoices for customers that have an overdue balance to begin with? So let's go down to uh, Natalie Chapman, and I have an invoice for a thousand bucks, right? And she's due on receipt, so this is considered overdue. Now I could easily go ahead and do a sales receipt or another invoice for Natalie, no problem, right? And you, you just have to look here, recent transactions or a note you might put on, or an aging report or collections report of the customer center. But how about just disallowing someone from creating an invoice for Natalie until she actually pays what she's what she owes, this is overdue. Not just an open balance, but I mean, I don't want to create a transaction for Natalie because her invoice is actually overdue. Okay, and you can even find that out on the income tracker. Just look at overdue invoices, and there's Natalie. Okay. So you go to Edit, Preferences, Sales and Customers, and then check the box under Overdue Customers. It says Do Not Sell to Overdue Customers. Click OK there. This would be very helpful. So now when I go from the income tracker or wherever I go to create uh, a sales transaction, you'll see a pop-up. I just cannot sell to customers with overdue transactions. One of my favorite enhancements for 2015 period is a, a long-time request, and that's the ability to put subtotals uh, on different columns on a, on a sales transaction. And uh, it really has to do with the subtotal item. So let's go to the item list for a second. And we're going to go to the subtotal item here that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and edit that item. And I have the ability, columns to total, not just amount, but quantity, price, and cost. So on the sales forms that would have these as columns, this, when I add the subtotal line item, it's going to do totals there. So let's go back to my invoice. And I'm going to skip this line, go down here, and put on my subtotal line. And now I have a... a total quantity on the invoice which you just couldn't get before you know uh, the rate and and of course the amount so those show up uh, right there as well and even cooler uh, when I go print preview because you're gonna ask me you know it shows up so I can see the totals there love that let's stay on the invoice also in enterprise you have the ability to sort the order of the document just by clicking on the column so almost all the columns or click sortable. You could sort 
by quantity, rate, what have you. Also on the sales transactions, I can add a cost column. So when I go to formatting, customize data layout columns, I can add cost. Now it's not printable, it'll just be on the screen only. Click OK, there's my cost column. And I also wanted to mention in Enterprise, you can add the cost column to a sales order as well. So it's, all, it's already on the estimate, so you have it on the, the sales order, uh, sales receipt, and invoice now as well. So fantastic. And finally, in Enterprise, dealing with inventory and build assemblies, we now have two shortage reports for when you have a pending build or when I'm about to go here to an assembly item. And let's say I'm doing the interior door kit, and I want to go ahead and create 10 of those and tab off. Not only can I make it pending, because I don't have any component parts to actually fulfill the build, I can show the actual shortage. Okay? And it'll go ahead and bring up a shortage report uh, based on that quantity of 10 I want to build for that assembly for the interior door kit uh, finished good. So shortage report by item as well as by vendor. And if I click uh, build and close and just make it pending, and I'll just go ahead and close that for now. When I go back to that pending build. Let's open it up there. There's a show shortage tab on the left as well. Shortage report by vendor and by item. These are the features in QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions 2015.